Hey guys, so I'm, I'm just supposed to run downstairs and then dawned on me. Did I not introduce this vlog? Like I just filmed this. You think I'd remember. I've just started filming a little while ago. It's only been an hour. Anyways, um, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Sky Ann and I've been designing um, some hair scrunchies and making them. Hopefully I'm going to have my online shop up and running really soon. Um, that's what I'm really working towards this week. I'm trying to get this all done. Um, if you're new here, welcome, and if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me again this week. And yeah, so I'm just going to jump right into the vlog. Um, let's just, it's Sunday, I started filming stuff, can't remember what I was even doing or what I even said if I even introduced this vlog, so I'm just going to jump right into the clip and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so... I was just randomly talking to the camera and it shut down, like it went, the screen went black and I was like, what? I think the bat, like I charged the battery and I've just started vlogging, like I haven't vlogged in a few days and then I realized that I was not recording. <laughs> it's okay. Um, this is such a neat thing to do, to be just sitting here talking to the camera thinking that it's recording and it's not. So, and it's also weird when I first like come back to vlogging, like, and I just mean that it's been a few days. Like any time that I take a few days where I'm not picking up the camera, I find it like weird to kind of come, like I not struggle, but like it's, yeah, like to get back into my groove of vlogging again. Um, and it's funny cause I really, I love vlogging, picking up the camera, but it's just so happened that I've been doing a lot of work and just, um, yeah, it's just stuff going on that I haven't been able to film. Just like if kids are off school and there's a PA actually tomorrow on Monday. Um, so it's just a lot going on, appointments and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I haven't been picking up the camera. And then anytime I would pick up the camera, I'm sitting on the computer. So I'm like, that would be so boring to film. Anyway, I have pulled out one of every scrunchie from the bucket and I pulled out my big white paper roll. I just unrolled it onto the folding table. And I was just generally thinking tonight, could I take one photo each of, um, the, like just on the white paper from maybe the view above just so I could have a listing photo. I'm thinking the listing photos would just be like the image with, um, on white, or I'm gonna remove the white actually, if I can, and um, just have the scrunchie image, like the item that's would be for sale. And then for the little piece of wood thing that I got, I shared it in a different vlog. Um, it's like a piece of wood, and I can kind of like set the photos up a little bit nicer with some props, but I don't really have any other props. So I was like, okay, first thing to do is take listing photos. And this may actually be harder than I was thinking. Um, I do got my paper rolled out and I would say it's a pretty good sturdy because right away I'm worried about like, is it gonna get too wrinkly or creased or anything? But it seems to be okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through the scrunchies and I am just, um, I pull them off where the seam is. So I just go all the way around where the seam is and I'm really picky about making them, but at the end of the day, if they're made really well and like that's what I'm looking for, my seams and stuff, and I know that I'm using quality stuff, I'm, I'm not so worried about them being perfect, like laid out for photos. Like they're okay, but I also want to represent them accurately. Like what you see is how they actually are. I don't want to be fiddling and, and putting something like, I don't want to be so picky that I'm picky for everything else in the quality of them, but what I'm trying to say is I don't want them to, um, I, I, I want to be really careful that the color and stuff is being represented as accurate as possible. And even with that said, you know, things will look different on different screens. Um, but I'm just trying to keep that in mind to try to keep it that way. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> just winging it and I'm trying to make my stack really nice. I was going to like roll them. I brought my roller in, but I don't. The only ones that it seems to be really necessary for is like the cotton gauze ones it seems they're like this this one seems to be okay because some of them are just really um like or the cord ones they were just really linty from the material themselves so and then i'm just thinking about like do i want my labels because sometimes my labels bend like when I'm doing photos, I try to make sure like if I'm going to position my labels on the right or the left side, because it should be, um, with all the scrunchies with the tags, I would like to keep the imagery kind of consistent. 
So those are the things that I'm thinking about. I have a feeling though, by the time that I just like set this pile up, I may just have to roll the paper up or maybe I'll just shut the door in here and um, maybe tonight, maybe Nate can help me with doing some photos. I have my other camera sitting out. So I do have another camera and then I was going to film me taking the photos, but I'm almost thinking that the camera that I'm filming on right now is probably the better. Well, like it's probably going to take a better picture. I'm not really sure. My other camera is like, uh, it's a Canon. This is what I mean about like the little ends. You probably can't see it. It's just actually pieces of string from this scrunchie itself. And the string's not falling out of it. It's just even after I sewed it, they were so messy, these ones in the cord, that it's really hard to um, get all the stuff off of them, like the little strings. And there's no strings actually falling out where I sewed. It just so happened that like even um, sometimes maybe you can't see on camera, but when I'm cleaning my room up, I mean, that's why I'm always just um, cleaning off my desk, but it's literally, it's just like the fiber from the actual material itself. Like this is not, um, it's not from any of the other materials. Like it's, it's picking up the actual stuff from this one, the, um, the gauze. So I find gauze is very uh, stringy and messy to work with. So, and I don't want that on anybody's thinking like there's stuff on their scrunchie or their scrunchies falling apart because it's really not. It's just when I originally did it. All these are new materials that I purchased from small owned uh, businesses and also um, they, I don't wash any of these. These have never, they're all brand new. So when you get them, um, they're directly just from the local fabric stores. So yeah, that's kind of cute. Okay. So yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm going to probably do this to every single one of them anyways, to be honest with you, that's in my bin. So maybe I won't get to photograph it all today. And it'll just be, um, going through every single scrunchie and then putting them back in the bin. Cause now that I started doing this, I kind of want to do this to all of them because I do need a photograph and I need to add the hang tags on them. But before I add the hang tags, I'm going to want to do this anyway. So now I'm thinking I should just roll up my paper and make them all really nice and just go ahead and remove the strings. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the bucket because then that way if I have to stop, they'll be all lined up and then I'll have to place them back in the bucket. Then I can pull them to be photographed and maybe they'll sit nicer in the bucket like this instead of on their side. And then I need to take them. So I'm just going to roll this stuff up and I'll be back. I'm just going to photograph them, but I just feel like I'd rather just do this part and get this job kind of done. So I can, um, I wanted to get them tagged, but this part here is really important too. It's just making sure that again, going through the quality of them. I think I have another one like this one. And I liked how they were, I had them stacked in the bin sideways, but I think this is going to be much better. It's just to stack them into like, um, not on their side, like flat down. So anyways, I will just um, maybe speed this little part up for you guys. And so I'm just going to keep going through them as much as I can until I have to stop and just keep piling them. Um, and that way I will be able to reset them back in the bin and know that they can get relabeled.
Hey guys, so I have this idea to roll the inside of the bucket. I've seen somebody do this with a mug for like when they're gonna, you know the Cricut press that you stick a coffee mug into? And I've seen somebody go over it to pick up any lint. I was like, ah, oh, that gave me the idea to do it to this bucket. Sorry, you can't even see what I'm doing. Um, this bucket has a, it's only for fabric or like ever art supply kind of stuff. Um, but, I, and they were all clean. So when I started this, I cleaned out all the buckets, like I dust them, but check that out. Maybe you can't tell, but that is lint. And that lint is like mainly off of the linty ones. Like some of them, they shed more material. And uh, just from making them and putting them in the bucket. So I just had this idea that just give me the thought of why don't I just roll the bin? So I could start putting the ones that I know have been rolled away. And I thought, what a great idea, because I have dusted out this bin before when it gets too linty, but it doesn't guarantee that it picks up everything. Hey, Soren. Oh, careful with the door. Careful. Hi. 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 No, uh, no touching. Plug, plug, jack, plug, phone jack, uh, phone jack, shown in you. Yeah, there is a phone jack here. It's vintage. We don't use it. Vintage phone jack, shown in you. Vintage phone. So frames are crooked and the lighting is horrible. I wasn't wearing my glasses earlier to see where I was in frame and I didn't even turn the light on. But yeah, that's like some days I'm on it. I'm good at vlogging and the other days it's like I didn't turn the light on so I don't think I'm gonna get through all of this before supper because I'm gonna go downstairs also my battery is like already half out on the camera um so this stuff is the stuff I'm just kind of separating it this stuff is already like I went around and double checked it but I'm just gonna do a little quick roll on it very quickly and then this whole pile up front needs me to go all the way around and these are the ones that would be the most dusty anyways like that i'd have to roll the most these ones this material doesn't really hold a lot of like uh the fibers and stuff like that it's they're really nice material and it's not linty like the other ones and some of the other um ones that i was rolling are not linty they just got lint from this pile here that's um, more kind of stringy and has like like just generally speaking the cord creates more dust so I will quickly maybe try and see if I have a few more minutes here to just roll a few of these because I wanted to get them all in the bin here and once I have them in the bin um, I will even if it's not on camera I'm going to get through this pile tonight and then hopefully could get on to taking photos probably no photos until tomorrow though because it's getting pretty late but if I could get, I'd be happy if I got photos of just a one of every single scrunchie. And then I totally forgot that I need to photo the claw clips. So we'll see how that's going to go. later on it's after supper um right after supper sorry i came upstairs and i finished the pile that was on the table anyways what i wanted to show you is if you're wondering at this point why in the world are you rolling these scrunchies because they are new materials i saved i went through quite a bit so i wonder if i could get like a reusable kind of um lint brush i haven't seen one in a long time though i just see these papery ones check this out can you guys excuse my unmanicured hands and i'm probably looking like really scary not wearing any makeup for this but if you can just see the papers do you guys see that and there's a lot of dust but in addition to all that dust that was the cord this was simply just the cord but if you could see all those little speckly spots if they're coming up on camera that is all these strings that's when i cut the cord the fibers of that is like it was all over the place the cord was it made a huge mess it's okay because they are so worth it. They are like, they're one of my favorite ones. They're just really nice, um, the corduroy ones. 
but when even after I sewed them up because I cut and the fibers were just on them even when you're sewing them inside out and you pull them some of the stuff does not come off of it so I thought I'd show you guys that because that's why I was rolling them and I didn't want anybody to get it with the reds or anything on it thinking that oh the threads are falling out of this it's not it's just they were so dusty and that was before I had my pinking shears so I just love the pinking shears um, they work really well and it's a lot less fray and a lot less mess than this but anyways I thought I saved those little papers and show you guys that's why I was rolling them anyways so I will see you guys if not tomorrow Tuesday uh, kids are at school and then Wednesday is an uh, appointment day for Elsa so it's gonna be a short week of vlogging I think this week but I will maybe try to squeeze a few minutes in tomorrow sometime and if not um I will see you on Tuesday hey guys so it's actually Monday I actually started it and tackled the pile I didn't film it but I'm gonna film some sewing I think um, I got them all ready with the labels in them so that was the chambray ones that have just been kind of sitting here for a few days and I was thinking tonight or sometime today when I get a chance I will start gathering things that need to be photographed tomorrow maybe like prepare it to make to make it a little bit easier um, on myself so I may start filming some of this now we do have to go out and grab a few things so I'll see what I can get done if I can actually sew a few of these right now Guys, I seriously think right now that's the ice cream truck. It's like, my watch says it's 13 now. But 13 to me is like, I'm still gonna wear like a fairly like warm jacket. Like if I'm just going to the store, I may throw on a spring jacket, but like the ice cream truck's going out around. It's too cold. <laughs> Gold. So the markings actually like they come off um like that's what i mean about the pencil safe stuff it actually comes off um when i must be turning the scrunchies on this material at least it is I'm just gonna make sure that i'm not gonna catch the tube that's just something to watch for Oops, it easy so i'm gonna pull my hair finish this one Yeah, so if you're new, if you're new watching me sew and you're like, it looks like I'm not um, back stitching at the beginning, I am. It's just I have my automatic setting set, so it's doing it for me. I don't even have to touch it. I just have to let the machine know when I am, and I do not have to hold it. It does the counting for me and everything. It's I can't tell you how much I love that feature. It is the perk of this machine is I don't have to think about like count like before when I was manually doing it I would count back count forward same as at every end and I'd be having to hold one hand up here with the button 
this is just automatic there is an automatic cutter on it but i just prefer to touch where i need to cut and for at least the scrunchies um for different projects it may be different um and then when i get to the end i just have to hit the reverse button once because it's programmed to say to automatically do it and then it's automatically going to do that for me and i don't have to hold my hand there and i don't even have to think about it and it mainly lines it up it, it's like right on top of the previous stitching so unless i swish it around or move it the machine will do its job in the top back stitching will be amazing so that's a perk of this machine <laughs> got this all done which like I'm surprised um that was awesome because I haven't sewed in quite a few days and I kind of missed it so this was kind of like therapeutic for me to sit here and sew because I've been just doing so much computer work so I'm just gonna trim these threads off really quick and then I'm going to turn them right side out. So basically, I'm just using my like Cricut scissors to cut the thread off because I like them, but I think they're probably really dull. Um, Um, if you guys have a favorite pair of snips or ones that look, like work really well, please let me know because I've seen people using these things called snips and to just trim thread and they look like they're nice to use, but I don't know because I've never used a pair of them. So if you have something that works really well for sewing when you're trimming your threads off, um, maybe they are snips, maybe they'd be better. Let me know in the comments below, please. Awesome. So I'm really happy with how this is. I just realized I'm like, I was cutting the, I'm pretty sure I was cutting the fabric in this shirt. Can you guys tell what I like? But it's my style and now I'm like wearing this shirt to sew them up. Of course, of course I am. This is just a pure coincidence because this was not on the schedule today. I was just thinking about um, basically setting my stuff up for taking the photos and how would that save me time if I want to do it tomorrow because I think like a lot of things that is not really seen is that the setup of stuff like me setting up the sewing machine and getting the tension right and thread matching and stuff pinning the scrunchies all the setup before I actually get to the actual job of sewing takes way longer than the actual sewing so there's a lot of setup involved even when I'm vlogging there's a lot of setup involved um, yeah, I can sometimes just wing it like right now and just throw the camera up and hope for the best. Hey, buddy. You want to say hi to YouTube? Do you want to say hi, YouTube? Look, you got to look in the camera. Hi, YouTube. No, you got to come to the camera and say hi. Hi, YouTube. Come see yourself in the camera. Okay, go. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Oh. Okay, so I'm back for just like two more minutes and then I have to... I'm gonna stop. Um, so I can already tell that it has the little lint. So I just got a clean sheet here and I'm just gonna roll it. Like it was, um, I've already cleaned off my sewing machine before I put the cover on it. But I'm like, how am I gonna do this, guys? Just a second. Okay, so 
I know my head's cut off and I'm really sorry, but I'm just gonna go ahead and roll the scrunchie so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And maybe this would be a better method because that way it's kind of easier to do it now and to flip them over and catch stuff than it is once they're actually a scrunchie and I could just see the pieces of stuff on it. So I can go on one side and, oops, the other. This may save me some time in the end. And it's just, again, it's just, as I mentioned, when you cut the fire, fire blah. What was I'm trying to say? As you cut the fabric, the little fibers come off and they're really tiny. There's a few left on my desk. And if I shake it, um, you'll see. So basically, if I just shake it kind of, so yeah, I don't know, do you got any tips? If anybody um, does this kind of stuff or they have any tips, let me know. But for now, I'm just gonna uh, roll them. And this is so much easier to do it this way than it is once they're scrunched up. Cause once they're scrunched up, you they're on the elastic and you have to stretch them out. Like you have to not stretch them out, but pull the fabric straight. So this makes way more sense just to take them flat and like turn over my desk here. Cause then even if I stick it back down, it's gonna be a mess. I think though that this has worked out better. Okay guys, I really have to go right now. So I am going to just show you what we got done. I'm so excited. Like, I'm just so, I feel so happy that I just sat down and sewed. It was so nice to sit and sew. Um, and I'm so happy with these. Just wanted to let you guys know that you'll see me the other night rolling them once they were together. This went so much better. I'm implementing this right away. After they come off and they're turned, I'm gonna roll both sides. It was so quick to roll both sides and get everything while they're all like just flat and straight. And it got all the little strings that came off when I was turning it. They're all perfect. I probably will still do a quick little pass before they hit the bucket because obviously um, on my desk I was rolling off some stuff. There could be a spot or two, but this, they're good. There's no fibers on them at all and it was just so much quicker. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If you have helpful tips, let me know and maybe this could help somebody else when you're making stuff um, like this and you're like, oh, I get little fibers and you have to roll it. It was actually easier to roll it before it gets um, the elastic in it. So anyways, I'm signing off for now. If I have time tonight, I will pop back on because I want to uh, prepare things for photos tomorrow, but I really have to go right now. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in a bit. It's really late. It's Monday night. It is now, oh, it's exactly, check this out. It's exactly 10 p.m. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to get the elastic in these hair scrunchies, possibly tied. If I have time left over and I'm not too tired, I will test run the top stitching thread to make sure it's a match because if it's not, I need to know so I can put this on the shopping list. I got my bucket elastic ready. I pulled these pink bins so I can pull one of each scrunchie, possibly the claw clips, set them aside for tomorrow. I know I said we're gonna photograph and at the beginning of this vlog, I thought that's what I'd be doing. But in reality, I've been doing so many other little things that I haven't had time for it. So, and I have pulled footage and started out um, editing for this vlog. And if I try to add in tomorrow's taking photos, it's just gonna run over an hour. So I think for just the remainder of this vlog, it's gonna be tonight. I'm gonna tackle a few of these little tasks that I have here. And then tomorrow I will spend um, all day probably photographing and that will probably be next week's vlog I'm assuming so yes I'm really I'm so sorry guys I like I keep saying oh we're gonna photograph stuff but I'm just winging it <laughs> I'm winging it and I'm just trying to get all this stuff done with a really this last week and so it's just been really limited time so um, as I'm chit-chatting away here, what do I want to do first? You know what? I'm going to pull the scrunchies first. Let's do that. Because let's prepare for, 
um, the photos tomorrow. So I'm just gonna go grab one of all the scrunchies and put them in this bin so they are ready for to be photographed basically. Um, what am I missing here? White one and the beige one. Maybe more print one. Something like this. I feel like I'm missing some. Definitely I am that one. And we already have a green one, one like this. One like that. One. Oh, one, one, and one. I think. Did I miss anything else? Yes, I did. So these are all just the different. <laughs> Let me eat the second bin. The different designs and hopefully that's all of them oh no one more so I'll just maybe separate some of these okay so i have two bins prepared i thought i was going to throw in some claw clips but i could if i stack them really high into one bin so what I'm going to do is put these back here for tonight. Uh, maybe I'll just use them out here. Okay, so that's done. And I do want to pull some of the clips. So I feel like I should. All my clips are in the box because I still haven't taped or packaged them. So... So I've moved on to um, doing the elastic and the hair stretches. I've got the bins behind the sewing machine for tonight. And then tomorrow, that's where I'm going to start. I decided against sticking the claw clips in the bins because the way that I have them in the box is so highly organized. And um, just, yeah, I'm just going to leave them like that. Um, and I'll pull them as I take photos. So I'll probably just speed this part up. It won't take me really long to do these, just few because there's not many here, but it'd be nice to have them done as well. the blue thread I'm gonna have to actually look at it in the daylight but I like wound the bobbin up and everything and I got the machine ready and I actually think it's pretty good for the color match for the top stitch sorry my hands cut off um like you can't even see it or I can't even see it but I mean when I look at this in natural daylight it's a hard color to color match the chambray I should actually look on my shirt <laughs> But it, like, when it's on the spool, it, I don't know why, I didn't think it was, like, going to be a very good match. This wasn't one that I picked, this was one that I had seen online that matched this fabric. Um, because sometimes, like, I'm going to go in and pick. So, I'm going to check this in natural daylight, and if I'm not happy with it, then the pilot's when she's will need to wait, and I'll have to go in, and I'll just take, like, my sample piece. And then I'll just go in and look at the threads. And it's always good if you can go somewhere where there's like a window so you can actually see it in natural light. So I might have to do that, but I may not. It may be okay. I mean, it actually may be okay, but I'm not 100% sure until like I put it by the window in natural light tomorrow. I mean, I think it blends in pretty well. 
it is a hard color match. I don't have one for the other material, so we'll see. But, um, so this is what we got done. So I tie them and then I go back through and make sure the knot is um, like permanent, basically. So these are done. I am going to just clean up my machine for the night and shut everything down, just do a quick tidy up. Um, and then after tomorrow, I, after I get all the photos and stuff, I'll probably do a much bigger cleanup of my room and start to plan out some more stuff to sew. Um, yeah, so I am actually just going to leave the vlog here because it is 10.53. So it's almost been an hour and I never sew or I won't decide on things. Like I said, not only just the natural light, but I never do things like that late at night anymore. I just will um, shut things down. But I just wanted to play a bit of catch up and get kind of a head start on some of the stuff because it's just been sitting for so long. Anyways, if you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for keeping me company and um, just hanging out. I will see you guys next week, hopefully, and I'm hoping that is actually, I wanna say that's gonna be the photo for taking photos in the vlog, but I keep saying that and it just keeps getting pushed back. So I hope that's what is the vlog following this one. And again, if it's not, then you know, like something's come up or I've had to rejig things or, cause my plans just don't always go to plan basically. Anyways, I am setting off for the night. I will see you guys in the next one. Please make sure if you liked the video that you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe so you don't miss a notification when I come out with a new vlog. Again, thanks you guys um, just for being here. Thanks everyone and have a good day. Bye.